The death of a child is a tragedy for the family, for the world. And I was in my 40s before I understood about childhood death. I was stunned to learn that back in 1950, over 20 million children under the age of five would die. By the year 2000, it'd been cut in half. So it was about 9.7 million, about 10% of the children who were born. Since the year 2000, there's been unbelievable progress. We're now down to under 5 million. Of course, we'd like to get that down to be even lower. So what are those deaths? What's going on there? Overwhelmingly, it's infectious diseases, diarrhea, pneumonia, malaria. We can see here that non-communicable, that'd be things like cancer, 14%, injuries, like a car crash, 4%, but infectious disease, 82%. And of course, almost all of this is a preventable disease. It's in poor countries where uh, you simply don't have the same health, nutrition that uh, the rich world takes for granted. You might ask, how have we brought child to death down and how can we bring it down in the future? Creating new vaccines and making sure that vaccines get out to all the children in the world. We can you know, make sure that you actually have uh, good sanitation, toilets, ability to wash your hands. We need much better tools, much better systems to help kids in that very first week. A birth attendant, even monitoring the baby's temperature, or having the mother hold the baby to make sure it stays warm. That kind of training and early diagnosis is very important. So the world has made incredible progress in saving children's lives. And I'm confident that we'll see far more children celebrate their fifth birthday in the years ahead. This is a vaccine factory. There's some amazing innovation here to make the world's most complex vaccine, which is for pneumococcus. A lot of children die of pneumonia. That just means their lungs are infected. Pneumococcus is the main cause of that. It still kills nearly 400,000 children under the age of five every year. In Van Price, a biotechnology company near Seattle is working to increase the supply of affordable vaccines to protect children from deadly pneumonia. The first pneumococcal vaccine we're protecting against seven strains. And now we are making a gigantic leap in going to 25 strains. The unique invention of Invent Prize is to have this facility, which is very compact, very efficient. This manufacturing process will enable us to make this vaccine available at an affordable price to the masses. It's very complicated to do and not have the price go up to become unaffordable. And that's where these innovations here are so amazing. You get more coverage, so you save more lives.